Alibaba will report earnings next Wednesday on the 7th of February. Earnings report is always a very important event, especially for Alibaba, and it usually tends to move the market, especially for Alibaba and for Chinese stocks. As always, Alibaba tends to be a barometer for the Chinese economy. Uh, but uh, in this video, we'll talk about the current economic situation on China, how Alibaba is doing as a company, what to expect for this next earnings report, and we'll look into the possible catalyst that will affect Alibaba stock. So let's get into it. First, Alibaba is one of the biggest companies in China. Their core business is the e-commerce, but they have a cloud computer segment. They invest a lot of in logistics. But this stock was was once a high-flying stock. Uh, investors loved Chinese stocks. Chinese economy was booming. But since 2021, after the COVID, the stock has been down a lot. In the last few years, there has been uh, regulatory changes, uh, economic slowdown, recession. China has been having a lot of problems. And the stock of Alibaba, for example, has been in a downtrend for two, three years. And the stock uh, it an uh, all-time high of $300. And right now, it's around the $70 mark. Uh, the stock has been having a lot of difficulties, but there are a lot of uh, good reasons to be bullish on the, these earnings trees. For, for Wednesday, uh, it is expected uh, Alibaba to report earnings per share around 2.4, 2.7 $2 and the revenue estimate uh, is, is supposed to be around $30.8 billion. Uh, this is a really stable, really good growth. Uh, they have been recovering to from last year's recession they are they returned to double digit growth in the last quarter and if that happened again it would be really good for alibaba stock and i do believe that because uh, there have been reports that chinese economy is not recovering as fast as expected um, that's why chinese stocks are down uh, during the last year but if you see some recovery, it will be a really good catalyst for the stock. Um, analyst uh, sentiment score Alibaba has not been great. Uh, they are not expecting much, but there have been a lot of problems. But in the last few months, there has, there aren't, there are, there weren't bad news around the, the Chinese economy. The bad news we see that's not nothing new that we didn't know already but they have been uh, in a housing crisis that that are affecting a lot the economy uh, but they are expecting to to have really good growth this year around 5% which is really good and uh, i'm expecting chinese uh, stocks to have a really good growth and continue to make a lot of money and these earnings around 2.5 earnings per share it will be like ten dollars per share uh, when you look to the stock price alibaba stock price is around 70 dollars this is a, a earnings yield of 12 percent this is a p around eight seven which is really good i know uh, there are a lot of risks investing on china but when you look into a company like alibaba one of the best on china growing a lot high quality a really good business uh, making a lot of money and buying back share cheap shares that will uh, create a lot of shareholder value. There are a lot. To, this is uh, good reasons to invest in this stock, even though there are a lot of risk. Uh, I do believe it's it, these investors will be okay. Uh, there will be high rewards, uh, so that's why I'm willing to take these risks. And uh, there are nothing better on the stock. Uh, investors are a lot pessimistic about the stock, so. A anything that will happen that will be good it will be really good news and the stock can skyrocket from here and i don't know what will happen in the next few months or in the next year it can be down a lot for the next year we don't know but when the sentiment turns around on chinese stocks the stock will go up a lot because they, they have a really good fundamental they are really cheap uh, they are doing everything right uh, buying back cheap shares, uh, growing, uh, making a 
lot of money and this is uh, an economy Chinese economy that will be growing a lot and there are a lot of prosperity um, on China then and this is really good news for these stocks and I'm previewing that um, Alibaba will do really well in the future so this is a company I want to be invested in because of all uh, that I have said uh, and this is a, a sentiment uh, reason but when the sentiment turns around we'll not see Alibaba going 10% up or 20 it will be 100, 200, 300 400 percent uh, up in a single year maybe so we'll we don't know when it will happen but i'm i do really believe that will happen in the future so i'm investing in that so what we should look in the next earnings report a very important thing in alibaba it's their e-commerce business is that's where we get the most of the revenues and most of the profit so we should look into the gmv gross merchandising vol volume user growth active buyer numbers competition from jd and pinduoduo how it will happen or it will decrease their margin but it looks like they are recovering their margin so i, I will be looking to that uh i will for sure look their cloud computing segment i want to see revenue growth market share compared to tencent cloud and huawei cloud for example uh, we have seen really good news but uh, cloud computing has been uh, flat in the last few years but there are new product launches and they are saying this ai and they have been market leaders around the technological companies on china so it might be um, that we might see uh, revenue growth in their cloud business in the next few months years we don't know that i'm looking to it uh, we should look into the profitability of logistics, advertising and international business that are big segments that are growing a lot and it will be a uh, big segment in the future for Alibaba and it will, it will get a lot of profit from their business. About potential catalysts of the stock, um, everything can be a cat catalyst. Uh, earnings beat, revenue beat, higher growth. Um, good news uh, maybe a, a spin-off i don't know anything will be a catalyst for the stock there are a lot of pessimism on the on these stocks uh, investors are thinking that will not have growth uh, chinese will have regulatory changes again but uh, government on china are trying to be proactive on uh, investing they are doing a lot of stimulus so they are they want the companies on china to grow and get big so their employment gets lowered and their economy grows that's their main purpose and alibaba will not have another regulatory change but everything can change really fast on china that's where we see the risks but uh they are a really good prospect for alibaba and for the chinese economy so i'm really bullish on that but in my opinion uh, there are not being bad news or at least n nothing new bad news uh, and everything that will happen even though even if you have an earnings uh, aligned with expectation revenue growing aligned with expectation I do believe that all of that will be catalyst Alibaba just have to to stick to their plan uh, continue to grow continue to be really profitable uh, continue to be market leader on china and they will do very well in the future so because alibaba stock is down a lot and are really undervalued because of sentiment on china and investing on chinese economy on chinese companies and once it turns around alibaba will uh, skyrocket but that is just my opinion guys this is what I'm expecting for the next earnings report. Um, I think there are a lot of upside, a little bit of downside. Of course, there are a lot of risks uh, that can happen. Really bad news, uh, but we already are so pessimistic that we are we are already priced in a lot of bad news, in my opinion. And we have a lot to a lot of upside. Uh, they if they go with expectation if they stick to their plan buying back a lot a lot of uh, cheap shares 
uh, continue to be really profitable continuing to grow they will do really well in the future so um, I do believe uh, in this risk reward if you think about the risk reward there are a lot of upside a uh, lower downside so I'm willing to take the risk and I do believe uh, Alibaba will do very well in the near future I don't know when but it will do <laughs> so I hope you like this earnings preview of Alibaba it is expected to, to remaining uh, a lot profitable uh, making a lot of money at a cheap valuation uh, and might we might continue to see a double digit revenue grow which will be really good so everything could be a really good catalyst for this stock in the next earnings report so i hope you like this video and please like and subscribe guys see you next time